Your disposition and physical presentation will be governed by forces that are contrary to Christ's honor until you regard God as your greatest asset. Your own sin is your greatest adversary. The word of God is your highest authority, and you appreciate its sweetness and value beyond that of gold and honey. You regard the gospel of Christ's crucifixion as the most invaluable information on earth, and you shall develop the ability to forsake momentary gratifications in preference for enduring sanctity and happiness. You will desire the Holy Spirit's fruit more than the praise of men. Your disposition toward apparel and appearance will be governed by forces that do not honor Christ until you reach this point. I implore, beloved mother, oh, my goodness, I extol you for endowing me with a mother of such extraordinary quality. Not everyone is privileged enough to experience the affection of a mother. Therefore, I consider myself fortunate. Permit me to be the daughter that my mother more than merits. She deserves nothing less. Although my childhood was far from ideal, the achievements of my mother are for which I am eternally grateful. I implore you, Lord, to bestow excellent health upon her. Grant her every desire of her heart and demonstrate your devotion for her. Could you kindly assist me in developing a more profound understanding of my mother as an individual who possesses a unique collection of experiences and valuable insights? Lord, I humbly petition you for granting me the ability to perpetually experience tranquility. Truly nothing can ever substitute for the experience of being in your affectionate presence. When I am unable to perceive your tranquility, may the certain knowledge that you are paramount comfort me. Lord, I beseech you to reveal the ways in which you are reshaping every aspect of this season, for there is nothing that you cannot restore. As my faith flourishes and my confidence in you grows, I beseech you to increase as well, for as I strengthen my conviction, I shall come to appreciate the exquisite splendor of your love. When your affection envelops me, nothing can menace me. Everything will be of no concern to me because I will consistently approach you in supplication, expressing gratitude for everything. Your complete serenity shall govern my existence in Christ Jesus. I cannot comprehend anything grander than it. The presence of you alleviates my apprehension. As a divine infant, I shall not succumb to discouragement. Your mighty right hand shall provide me with support and fortitude. You, Lord, cure the sick and wounded, and you dispatch Jesus to be pierced and crushed as a means of punishing me for my sins.